Hi folks, welcome to MTS. Today we have a set of MTH Rail King Southern Pacific PA Alco locomotives. Um, as always, we're going to go ahead and just start with getting everything unboxed. Uh, we'll do a quick inspection and then we'll uh, get it over to the workbench. The description uh, says that these are not working. Um, I think it said sounds and lights, but that was pretty much it. However, uh, looking at the pictures, they look pretty, pretty nice. So, for the price, I was up for the challenge. Got the separate fan there. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so this one's already been taken apart. So that's an, always a <laughs> not necessarily a plus, right? When they're already taken apart. But. Dummy, and it's really nice. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, again, we're gonna take the powered unit over to the workbench and see what we got. Okay, no, this is a really good looking set. So, this is the dummy unit, and there's really not much to it, right? So, uh, as it implies, generally just has, this one actually has a switch <laughs> for the uh, interior lighting. Uh, so this is, I mean, it's a nice, nice locomotive. So there, that's our hookup uh, that goes, uh, ties the tether that ties to the, uh, the head unit. But uh, as far as condition, no, that looks great. It's worth the price of admission by itself, I think. So, but uh, now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. Okay, so let's get into the main unit here. We've got, uh, the good thing was there was actually a note when I was unpacking it. It said, careful, this is not attached. <laughs> so, appreciate the heads up there. And we got some something happening already right here. So this, this is definitely not the factory. So we're gonna have to find it, figure that out. But these are, these are flathead uh, just regular flathead screws. And they are not wanting to cooperate. Tell you what, we know the two front screws aren't coming out. We're going to go on down to the cast to the uh, gas portion here. Oh, here we go. Now we got something happening where the gas tank is. Okay. Now look at there. Actually has a BCR. That even more of the price of admission. Okay. So that makes me feel a little better. Good thing is none of these pegs are broken. So that I can see. Set the shell over to the side. But yeah. I can already feel that's not good. So both of these motors are binded really, really bad. Okay, so we may not be dealing with an electronic issue here. We may be dealing with more of a mechanical issue. All right, yeah, because I can, I can barely spin that flywheel, and I should be able to spin that freely, and it's not moving at all. So it's either binded or uh, we're going to find out. Okay, first thing we, I'm going to do here is just get this um, 
this base that actually goes into the shell. We're going to get that out of the way. And get this makeshift screw out of the way as well. There we go. And we're going to do the same with the other side. hold the flathead in place and just spin the plastic off of it. Since I already know we've got an issue with the flywheel, I'm going to go ahead and just flip this over. We're going to go ahead and pull that truck off. It's just a Phillips head screw that holds that in place. And back that out. And then that will allow that to separate. So the good thing is we don't have a bind in the gearing. I'm going to go ahead and take off the, the mounting piece here. There's two screws. This is just a DC can motor. There's two screws that hold this mounting bracket in place. I'm going to remove those two screws. Side. Take that off. Man, it's still it's almost like somebody pressed the flywheel on too much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just separate that real quick. I'm just going to take a large flathead screwdriver. Let's see if I can wedge it in between and see if we can get some separation. I'm already noticing a big difference, so that may just be our issue. actually got a little bit of play and it spins freely and I got grease on me that's gonna happen uh, let's see so next we're gonna just test to see if this is a good working DC motor in order to do that you have to have a DC card I've been able to get these um, off the internet it's basically an AC to DC converter so what I'm going to do is it's actually marked, as you can see, it's actually got the AC. So we're, this is where you hook in like uh, the gator clips. So this will be the negative here, positive here, and then we're just going to attach it to the, to the motor. Uh, when you look at the motor, there's actually an identifier. So the blue is going to be our positive and the yellow is going to be negative. Again, you don't want to put alternate current direct to a DC motor. Uh, that'll mess it up. So we have our positive, negative. And these little cards, they actually have a little LED light that's on there. So we're going to be able to see if, as long as we got power, we do have power. So, and I said, the blue is our positive, so we're going to just kind of 
I'm just going to kind of hold this in place. Put the black to that post. I'm put the red to this post. Give it a little juice and see if we have a mo motor. Okay, motor's working, but it's really off balance. Yeah, it should it, it should it shouldn't be taking that much to get it going. So um, again, I'm just going to kind of keep finagling here, see if I can't separate this a little bit more, um, and see if we can can't make a working unit. Okay, so I think I got it working. Um, I'm going to put this back together, and we're going to go ahead and start with the back one because I've got the same kind of resistance here as well. Uh, and see if we can't get this get these motors free and then we can go from there okay so I've got this back together and now you can see I can easily spin the flywheel and it's also turning the wheels on the side so no no binding anything like that but we go to the back of the unit and I can't even I have to grip it in order to turn it so I think we're gonna have the same issue here Go ahead and undo this part of it and see if it's the same symptom. If it is, we're going to go ahead and correct it. Okay, I think we have the same issue, so I'm going to do the same remedy where I'll just go in and just take a fl large flathead screwdriver. We're just going to pry that flywheel up. Let's give it a little bit of space. Play. I didn't even worry about uh, removing the, the mounting bracket here. Uh, there was no need to really on the other one. But that's just part of identifying what we got going on. Uh, this is starting to move a, a lot more smooth. same exercise looks like the yellow on this one is positive you can barely see there's a little bit of, there's a red identifier underneath there uh, so we've got our AC to DC converter here I need to get some new alligator clips these have been used quite a bit It's going to be our positive, and the blue is our negative. I'm just going to tie that in and give it some juice. Make sure we've got a good contact on each side. Now what's happening is I got direct power, so it's actually backfeeding to the other unit. Uh, but it does look like it is operational. Okay, um, I think we're going to go ahead and take it over to the layout at this point. Um, just checking, we do have no binding there everything looks good and if I remember the description of the auction correctly that's the only issue they had they said it powered up uh, had sounds but did not have uh, forward or reverse uh, this may be a I'm hoping fingers crossed this is <laughs> this could be a, a really big win here we'll get over the layout see what we got all right folks well moment of truth let's uh, power this up and see what we got Sounds on. Looks 
like all the lights are working. Maybe not the bottom headlight. I'm not sure if it works until we go in forward, though. So, uh, let's see what happens. Forward direction. <laughs> oh, be dipped. Well, this is going to be a shorter video than normal. Um, Again, I'm very pleased <laughs> with this purchase. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, see if I can find some uh, original hardware uh, to get that get the shell mounted back in place, and uh, we'll get the the dummy unit and put them on the layout, and run them together. Well, there you have it. I'm very pleased with this project. However, the body screws are unique to this model, so I will need to find some replacement hardware. In the meantime, I can take one of each of the screws from the dummy unit just to hold the shell to the chassis on the powered unit. Uh, for the price of less than $150 with the shipping and taxes, um, I'm very pleased. Uh, some, sometimes you just get lucky. I bought this set thinking it was an electrical issue, but it ended up just being a mechanical issue where I literally pried the flywheels away from the can motors, and it worked just fine. <laughs> uh, I've run in about 20 laps or so around the layout in forward and reverse. Uh, for an older set, it looks great, and I have a set of Southern Pacific Daylight passenger cars that will pair nicely with this PA diesel set. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the line.